My name is Nick. I am a solutions engineer here at Upload Care. And today I'm going to be talking about adaptive delivery. So adaptive delivery is Upload Care's full stack image optimization solution for the web. Adaptive delivery combines a lightweight JavaScript SDK with our image processing CDN to automatically implement all four major image optimizations for the web. So this includes image compression, image reformatting, generating visitor specific image variants for responsive images, and then finally, lazy loading. Implementing adaptive delivery allows your website or application to load faster by taking advantage of all possible image optimization. Additionally, it allows you to remove existing code associated with image optimization. So on the front end, this would include libraries and complex image elements, and then on the back end, any image processing infrastructure. What I'm going to do next is implement adaptive delivery on a website and show you what kind of results it can deliver. So over here on the left, we have an example website we've created uh, to demonstrate adaptive delivery. And then over here on the right, I have the HTML associated with this page. And so what I'm going to do is implement adaptive delivery. Now, the first thing to do is just look at the web page. It's a very simple web page, um, just image heavy. And so let's take a look at the images on the page. Um, if I open up our network panel, I'm going to refresh the page and we're going to watch the images load. So a couple of things to note here. First off, all the images are being loaded from Imgur. None of these images are currently hosted on Upload Care systems. The images themselves are all JPEGs uh, between about 100 and 300 kilobytes. Um, in total, the images on the page represent 5.7 uh, megabytes. Um, and then if I refresh the page again, you can see that all the images load at once. So no lazy loading has been implemented on this web page. So if we look at an individual image, we'll pull it up here. Um, so this is an un unoptimized image. What I'm going to do is implement adaptive delivery on this single image. We're going to see what it does there. And then we're going to look at what happens when you implement adaptive delivery on all the images on the page. So if we look at this individual image, it's 162 kilobytes, 1300 by about 900 pixels. And then finally, it's a JPEG. So what I'm, what I'm going to do now is implement adaptive delivery on this, Im on this image. So the first thing you need to do to implement adaptive delivery is to load our SDK. And you do this just by copy pasting our adaptive delivery script into the head of your page, and that will load the SDK, same as integrating any other JavaScript library. So the next thing to do is to pull up the image tag associated with this picture. So it's right here, um, these Nike shoes. And if we look at the image tag, it's just a basic image tag. So image, source, and alt. Um, and here you can see the uh, URL for the image hosted on Imgur. And so what I'm going to do now that I have loaded the adaptive delivery uh, SDK is I'm going to let it know that I want it to manage this image uh, and optimize it. And to do that, all you have to do is change the source tag to data blink source. And this will let the library know uh, that we want it to optimize this image. So I'm going to write this page and then we're going to refresh the website over here and we're going to see this image get optimized on the fly. So again, 162 kilobytes, 1300 by 900 pixels, and it's a JPEG. Now, let's refresh the page. If we look at the image now, it's been optimized. So now it is 10 kilobytes, uh, 335 pixels by 223 pixels. And since I'm using the Chrome browser, it is uh, WebP. So the image has been compressed. It's been resized to exactly the dimensions that it is displaying at in the viewport. Uh, and it's been reformatted according to the browser that I'm using. And doing that generates a significantly smaller image and all of this is done on the fly. And so that's implementing adaptive delivery on a single image. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna look at the same website, but with adaptive delivery implemented on all of the images. So I'm gonna reload another version of this website. And so you can see that it is the same website, uh, same images. Um, and we're gonna go back to the network panel and we are going to refresh the page and look at these images. Um, first thing to note is that the images themselves do not all load uh, when the page loads. So they only start loading when I scroll down the page, and then you can see them all come in. Um, the second thing to note is that the domain has now been changed to our uh, image processing CDN, uh, blinkloader.ucr.io. Uh, the images themselves have all been reformatted to WebP. Um, and then if you look at the individual sizes of the image, they're comparable uh, to the individual image we just optimized. If we look at the page weight in total, you can see that 
um, 5.7 megabytes have been reduced um, almost by 90% down to uh, just under 500 kilobytes of images transferred on the web page. Um, and so that is what happens when you implement adaptive delivery on a website. Uh, you get all four of the major image optimizations. The images are compressed, resized to the dimensions that they are displayed at in the current layout. They're reformatted according to the browser that's being used and the image formats available. Um, and then finally, lazy loading is implemented uh, on the web page. So that is adaptive delivery, our full stack image optimization solution for the web.